Whoa, oh, oh, he's coming. Oh, there he goes. He's going. He's gonna go tell his friends. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Get him now. Get him. Oh, we turned the corner. Park it right here and leave it. Right Whoa! Holy smokes. Oh, and Scott, don't let him out at night, okay? Because he tends to wander and keep him out of the moonshine. That goes to both of you. Okay, Bobby, let's go over this one last time, okay? Moonshine, bad. Not for chickens. Dirty water in a bucket, though. Yeah, delicious. Chicken love dirty water in a bucket. Hey, don't you give me that lip. I heard that. Or beak, or whatever you want to call it. You know what happened the last time you got into the moonshine. <laughs> it was ugly. Anyway, welcome back to Miss Survival. We're picking up kind of sort of left over. Hey, listen. I don't want to hear that, all right? Go throw your temp temper tantrum somewhere else. You drama queen. Bobby wants the moonshine, but Bobby can't have the moonshine. And besides, there's no moonshine in the dang thing. It hasn't produced any yet. We're still waiting. So we made this in the last episode. It's a moonshine still. And it's going to produce a moonshine eventually. Once we get the moonshine, we can make bandages right here. Two bottles of booze and two rags equals one bandage. And that's going to be more important than drinking it, Bobby. We need the bandages. You'll see. So we just have to wait a little bit longer. It takes like 24 hours from what I understand. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. He'll go away. So, oh, there it is. The booze. It's up. Uh, what? No. No, no booze, Bobby. Nope. <clears throat> nope. It's not done yet. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> you can't have it. Let's put Bobby to bed. Had enough fun with Bobby for one night. It's getting late anyway. And I don't want Bobby to see these bottles of booze when I turn him into bandages and freak out. What? Bottles of booze? No. No, I, I don't have any bottles of booze. All right, so now we got our bottles of booze. That's fantastic, and we can make some bandages. We just have to, uh, oh, we need cloth. We need some cloth for that. I've got lots and lots of cloth over here. I did some rearranging here, as you can see. Got another, uh, another locker over there, a red locker. And let's go ahead and make a bandage. 10 minutes for one bandage and two whole bottles of booze for one bandage? Dude, that is expensive. These things are precious, though, because they can stop bleeding, and they enhance your natural healing ability. So they are super important. So I think we should probably get some more. Let's get another batch going. Don't tell Bobby. Listen to him throwing a tantrum up there. I hear that, Bobby. I'm not going to let you out. So we need a bottle, right? There's a bottle right here. We got some sugar, and we need some more water. And then once we get this done, we're just going to hop into bed and call it a day. Oh, actually, no. There's one more thing I wanted to do. There's one more thing I wanted to do. Let's put all of that in there. It's only six liters. I'm going to need ten. So let's grab this bucket from the water container, and we'll take all that out. It takes it all out at once, doesn't it? Yes, it did. Okay, almost nine full liters of fresh water. Pretty good. And we'll pour that in here. Some of it, anyway. Put in four liters. All right, and let's start the process. Make a new batch of moonshine. It takes 24 hours, my gosh. I want to upgrade the workbench. And I have everything we need. We've got two gears, six metal, and ten planks. And it takes about an hour. So, yeah, we can do that. Am I hungry or thirsty? No. Okay, let's do it. Upgrade the workbench. And this is going to open up a couple of new crafting recipes that I wanted to get to today. One being the bow, and another being a, um, a quiver. Well, there we go. Level two. Level two. Yeah, we can make a long bow now. That was locked. And I think this may have unlocked the tactical quiver? Um, yeah, we're going to look at this stuff in the, in the morning. I'm not going to do it right now. I want to get to bed. Let's go get to bed. We'll do this in the sunlight. I don't like recording at night. All right, good night, Bobby. We'll see you in the morning. Hopefully that tantrum is over by then. <laughs> um, num, 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 num. Another day to live through. Time to go choke that chicken. Holy smokes, we need a drink. Get a drink of water. We have water right here. Drink enough. I didn't realize how thirsty we were before we went to bed. All right, feeling much better. Okay, let's not choke the chicken. Let's bring Bobby outside. Come on, Bobby. Sadly, there's no bar- oh, there's the barrel. Okay, you want to go for barrel ride? He loves his barrel ride. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, is that how it's going to be this morning? Hmm? You still mad at me about last night? Yeah, well, he'll get over it. 
All right, what were we gonna do today? We were gonna make a bow. <laughs> All right, let's check out that recipe and see what it takes to make a longbow. We need 12 sticks, four lashings, and dried animal guts, right? So, wait a minute, what happened to my dried animal guts? <gasps> Please don't tell me they just... Oh, that was weird. How come I didn't have them in my hands? Didn't I take them off the rack last night? I thought I did. Down to 74% already. Holy smokes, we gotta use these up quick. We're gonna need sticks. And I think we need lashings too, it said, right? So we're gonna need all my leaves yet again. And there is the leather. And here's two lashings here. So I think we have everything we need. All right, well, let's make the sticks first. I think I can craft those right in my hands. And we needed, what was it, 12 of them? 24 minutes for 12 sticks. I'll craft those myself. All right, 12 sticks. And we're gonna need lashings. Which means we need bark. Where's my bark at? Here's my bark. Man, I hate using up all my leaves and bark. Especially the leaves, because I wanted to make a chicken coop for Bobby. But I guess that's not going to happen today. Let's make two lashings. Look at that. Down to four leaves now and four tree bark. What a pity. All right, let's check that in there. I'll keep my inventory as clean as a whistle if I can. And what else? And that's it. All right, so two hours for a longbow. Do we need to eat or drink? Uh, I think we can make it. Yeah, let's make it. I think we can make it two hours. So away we go. Bobby, cover me. Oh, wow, the mist did not even show up. That's interesting. So there's our longbow. Heavyweight, but could shoot longer and more powerful than basic bow. It could kill a person in one shot if using hunting arrow, and it didn't create noise. Okay. I think I understand that. <laughs> now we need arrows. Basic wooden arrows are just sticks. And then the hunting arrows are sticks, feathers, and arrowheads, which we have to make at the blacksmith uh, forge. But we don't have a forge here. We'd have to go all the way to that farm. And I don't think I want to do that right now. So we'll just make basic arrows. But we're also going to need a quiver to put them in. Uh, we have to make the leather first. How do we make the leather? Right here. All right, 20 minutes, we get eight leather. All right, not too shabby. So we could potentially make the tactical quiver, and it gives us three storage slots, which means it holds three different types of arrows, but I only see two types of arrows here. Uh, I don't think there's any other advantage to the tactical quiver or benefit over the, um, the regular one. So I think, oh, Bobby. So I think we're just going to make the, let's just make the regular one. All right, let's make this leather quiver an hour and a half. I know that mist is going to roll in any second now. No? Still good. All right, there's our quiver. Two storage slots available. All right, well, let's make up some arrows. How many sticks can I make? Let's make uh, four sticks. And we'll make uh, four arrows. All right, so that's four basic wooden arrows. And, oh, I'm starving now. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's go grab a bite to eat. What do we have here? We have some beef. Let's have a can of beef. Running low on food. Got to get Bobby in a chicken coop to lay eggs. And let's have a little water. This eating thing always gets in the way of production, doesn't it? All right, so we're going to go get our hunting arrows. I've got a couple up here in my closet. Yes, right here. Three hunting arrows, four basic wooden arrows, and let's get that bow out. Let's put it right here for now. In the fifth slot, and we have a quiver slot. Now, how do we get the arrows in the quiver? Oh, the quiver goes here. Okay. In your equipment slot. Oh, right-click, add arrows. Oh, cool. So you right-click on the quiver, and it has two slots available. Well, that's fantastic. And then we can switch with the R key. So I guess it's loaded automatically. All right, yeah. So we got our basic wooden and our hunting arrows. We can switch back and forth very, very easily. You better not give me any more of that beak, because look what I got. Oh, you better run. You better run. I am so tempted. 
It's a beautiful day for a bow hunt. I just don't know what kind of critters we're going to hunt today. Should we hunt the four-legged variety or the two-legged variety? <laughs> I think we'll just go out and see what we see first. How about that? We'll let fate decide. But before we go, let's make up some more of these practice arrows, which are really easy to make, by the way. It's just, um... It's just sticks, and you can make them on the fly, too. You don't even need the workbench. That is the beauty of this. 15 minutes to make three extra practice arrows. We'll throw those in the quiver, and we'll hit the road and see what we can find. Now, how do I add those to the quiver? I guess just right-click like I did before. Okay, cool. And drop them in there. Seven practice arrows, three hunting arrows. And in fact, what we could do is grab some metal and then head down to the old farm where the blacksmith forge is. Where's all my metal at? And we can make up some, uh, some more, some arrowheads. Or at least make some ingots, because maybe we want gears instead. I don't know yet. But, yeah, let's do that. We'll head down that way. Maybe we'll see some, something to shoot at with our bow on the way down. <laughs> all right, off we go. Bye, Bobby. I really wish I had a horn. Oh, I left the front door open, didn't I? Didn't I? Did I leave the stove on, too? Oh, I don't know. Bobby can handle it. All right, let's get on that road. We're going to take a right, head down to the farm, which is all the way down to the motel, and then a quick right. You know, there's a bandit base right there. We could try our longbow long range and see if we can take him out from afar. Yeah, let's do that. There's the old redneck shack. First whatever. How about if we go over here and get this, get the ingot started? And then we'll head over to um and we'll head over to that base and do some hunting. Yeah. Melt, melt, and melt. Go for it. Alright, very good. Now, let's go hunting before it gets too late. Be very quiet. We're hunting randits. <laughs> so this is the randit base. I don't see any randits right now. I'm hoping there's some on the outside. Maybe just one doing like a perimeter uh, patrol. We can take him out nice and quiet like, oh, good, a leaf. I need that leaf. I will not leave you behind. No leaf left behind. There's a guy just jumped the fence. You see that? Wham. I get him? There's no reticle, so I can't tell. Whoa, oh, oh, he's coming. Oh, there he goes. He's going. He's got to go tell his friends. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Get him now. Get him. Oh, we turned the corner. Eh. All right, we'll get down. Get the first guy that comes around. Although, what if they come over the wall? It looks like sometimes they just jump over the wall. This is supposed to be a silo. Oh, there he is. Oh! Gotta aim for the head. Oh, he got it! <laughs> this is supposed to do two body shots. Alright, two body shots so far. Not too shabby. Now, do I get my arrows back? No. I don't want to loot just yet. <laughs> Missed. All right, switch to my hunting arrows. Oh, did he forget about us? This guy's got broccoli and apples. Wonderful. And this guy has oh, rifle ammo. That's very nice. Let's get the rifle out now. Fill it up with some ammo. I think the gig is up. And oh, the dude dropped an M4. Sweet. Except that I can't get ammo out of the guns. Can't do that yet. All right, now it's time to go in and finish them off. So the arrows do pretty good damage. Even the practice arrows, it's two body shots. Oh, what the? oh this is my arrow? It was an arrow right there. That was awesome. Well, let's keep using them. That was a hunting arrow, too. I think there's only, like, one guy left. Take him down from here. Oh, yes, I can. Headshot. There's one more in red, though. Long shot. I'm not sure if I can get him from here. All right, let's go sneak up on this guy. You gotta stay in cover and make sure there's nobody else around. Could be another one inside. Okay, so you can get your arrows back if you miss. At least the uh, the heavier arrows. There's a gun here. M4. Yeah, the hunting arrow I got back. Where is he going? Is he going? He's going to our house. Isn't he? He's attacking our house right now. Uh-oh. Bobby, you're on your own, buddy. I'm afraid if I go after him, 
then all the uh, the randits behind us will respawn. So we don't want to do that. But let's get the rifle out and let's do some looting. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Some more ammo. And we have a rag here. Somebody's dirty rag. Well, that wasn't so bad. These guys aren't so tough. Let's go check the bodies out front. Uh, here they are. Okay, they only had um, food. A loot all. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's the way we do it. Money for nothing. And your randits for free. Still worried about that guy. He might come back. Better keep our eyes peeled. Um, got some gas in there we can come back for, I suppose. Although my guess is these bandits will return at some point. Right, you know what? Let's check inside. Maybe there's some awesome loot. Might even be more bandits here. I don't know. Still worried about that guy in red. He might come back. Hello? Randits? No? I think we got them all. Another M4. Pick it up. Oh, we can unlock this locker with a uh, with a, um, a crowbar. We have one on the car. Is that food? Can't grab the food. Dang it. I could use the food. Oh, backpack upgrade. That's very nice. And a locked door. All right, let's go get the crowbar, and we'll come back. Hopefully the randits don't come back while we're away. We'll bring the car right up. All right, we're going to pull right up in the SUV. Hopefully they didn't respawn. Doesn't look like it. Park it right here and leave it. Right here. Whoa! Holy smokes! Oh, I run down? Oh, yeah. Okay, that guy. I'm not sure where that guy came from. He's probably doing damage to the vehicle. You stinker. Oh, get away from the car. Is it just one? Well, that dude went and got some friends, didn't he? Oh, he sure did. Oh, not good timing to be thirsty. Just drink a little. Oh, I grabbed an empty bottle? Oh, you dummy. My bottle's empty. All right, eat an apple. Will that give me a little thirst? Yes, it will. Oh, I came all the way out here without anything to drink. Well, now we have to get over there and get some water from these guys. Hopefully they have some something to drink in here. I'm going in. Oh, wait, grab the crowbar. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do this. And I think I want... I think I'm going to bring my, uh, my shotgun out. Because we're at close range here. I think there's two of them left. Oh, I'm dehydrated again. Dang it! Come on out, randits. You guys have something I can drink? <laughs> Please? Oh. Climb over that. Oh, it was a blueberry. Quick, eat the blueberry. There we go. There we go. A little thirst. Oh, there's water barrels. Oh, dang you. There's no water in them. And I dropped my bottle anyway. <laughs> Ooh, what's all this back here? Military crates. Oh, hold on. We got a soda here. Can I grab it? Two of them. Okay. Get down, drink a cola quick. Oh, life saving. Life saving Coca Cola right there. Where did they go? These guys are tricksy. Very tricksy. Maybe they went back inside. Alright, we're going in, guns blazing. You ready? Run past that door. I think they shot and ran. Okay, they're not here. Close the door. And let's force this open right here. Ten minutes. What if they come back? Get ready to cancel. Okay, another shotgun and four shotgun rounds. Not great. Better than nothing. And now we got to unlock this door. Five minutes. The fire door open. Oh! I almost shot you! Who are you, buddy? It's Scott! Hi, Scott! Why didn't you call out? Sheesh! Did you hear all the shooting and shouting and people running around? Could've let us know you were in here. I almost shot the guy. 
All right, Scott, I'm just grabbing some stuff and then we're gonna leave, okay? Do I really want Scott? Because I think I have to feed him and everything. <laughs> gonna grab a few things and then we're gonna go, all right, Scott? Don't mind us. In fact, I'm gonna grab everything. So I'm having trouble picking stuff up. Another extra SWAT helmet, a couple of them. Oh, hold on, Scott. Let me grab that beef can right behind you there. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah, so, about the rescue. Eh, I can't just leave him here, can I? Oh, gosh, all right. Scott, can you fight? All right, get up. Get up. Five minutes to convince him to come with us. We're pretty good people, Scott. We have, we have a chicken. We even have a chicken. <laughs> Scott has been rescued. Will you take her to your camp and join your crew? Uh, there's a soldier, gun train. All right, whoa. All right, I guess I'll meet you back at base then. He doesn't even know where we live. Where are those two dudes that shot at us and ran? I want to find them. All right, let's go. Back to the car. Let's get out of here. Successful raid. Shot some bandits with our bow. And we even, uh, we saved, we saved Scott. And I wonder how much damage those guys did to the car. Shooting at it like that. Uh, we'll check it out when we get home. It seems like it's still running fine right now. But it's probably some damage to the engine and all the other parts inside. Oh, gosh! Oh. Oh. I hit that going really fast. Uh, the battery. Battery died. All right, put the new battery in. Yeah, this car is a mess. It's all right, we got tons and tons of parts back at home <laughs> oops I need to slow down all right we're back home no randits here oh gosh there's people here or is that Scott is that Scott or is it a randit stop right there freeze Scott is that you oh, I thought I said two people okay it's just Scott well welcome to the redneck shack Scott it's more than a shack I know Make yourself comfortable. Have some food and water if you need it. You can go outside and make stuff for me if you like. Because I could use some stuff. We could really use some leaves. Can you get some leaves for us? Leaves and bark. It's re really what we need the most. And stay out of the moonshine, okay? And don't mind the chicken upstairs. Bobby. We're going to put Bobby outside, okay? All right, Scott. Uh, hey, good talk, Scott. We'll talk to you later, okay, buddy? Hey, uh, Bobby. Come on out. Meet Scott. Come here. Scott's our new friend. Hey, Scott. He doesn't talk much, though. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, Scott. Bobby. Meet Bobby. You guys can talk in here, okay? Get to know one another. And, Scott, don't let him out at night, okay? Because he tends to wander. And keep him out of the moonshine. That goes for both of you. <laughs> and uh, we, I guess we can assign a room to him or something, right? Yeah, there's Scott. This is a soldier. Let's assign Scott to this bedroom right here because the other one is Bobby's room. This one's my bedroom, right? Yeah, Scott, you're right there, okay? So now Scott has permission to enter the shelter and then use that as his bedroom. Fantastic. And now we're gonna go get Scott a gun. 